He wasn't trying to hit the chick like people were saying. People were saying he was trying to hit the chick. So apparently his this dude in the what listen 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 you know people gonna get in the shit like you got people that never been through shit before in their life always judging talking about oh, he got to be banned for life and all kind of shit like that never been in a fight never been in no real shit in their life never been through nothing you know we don't know the context you know it's unfortunate that the chick was there you know but he wasn't trying to hit the chick like they saying he was and all type of shit like that He's trying to get to the dude in the white. Now, there's some other shit going on in this video that I'm not even going to talk about. But it doesn't involve Shakira Stevenson. Oh, man. But, you know, shit like this always come out, especially like he's a celebrity. He's fucking, you know, how old is he again? 21. He's going to be 22 um, in June. If you don't know, he's fighting um, the biggest fight of his career against Christopher Diaz in a huge step up. 24-1 and one with 16 Ks. Remember, his only loss was to Masayuki Ito, who's supposed to be fighting Jamel Herring for that WBO title. So basically, he's fighting a contender and former, you know, like pretty much an eliminator of sorts. You know, maybe a fight like this is going to help him, you know, stay more focused and, you know, like, basically, people gonna get into shit. You know, like, I did some dumb ass shit when I was 21. But, was, like, people vilifying him and saying, oh, he hit that girl. What is he doing? Y'all motherfuckers are some fucking fairies. Like, you know? But, yes, it's true. You know, he can't be conducting himself like that. And also, he has to understand, like, yo, like, you know? Like, for example, I talked to Jay Prince a long time ago. No, it wasn't even long. It was at um, Crawford versus Diaz press conference, final press conference. And this was when he was going through some shit, you know, with Mayweather's daughter and, I was, and some other shit, too. And I was asking him about, like, what do you do to keep, like, a young fighter or to guide a young fighter? Damn, where the fuck is it at? Like, like I was like, you know, it was a very like in detail interview about like how do you guide a young fighter you know from doing dumb ass shit like this or you know being involved in in like you know like shit like this two street boxing young boxer i don't know i'm i'm, I'm gonna have to look it up i'm gonna have to look it up one day but anyway oh this is funny this is a funny video right here <laughs> Peep if you peep it. Tell me if you peep it. But this is his um, um, manager, him and Andre Ward. And people are, you know, saying, well, Andre Ward, is Andre Ward going to drop him and all that? You know, of course, Andre Ward going to pull him, um, you know, side. And pro Listen, this shit is old. So I'm sure they probably went through all of that even before he probably even signed the fight, Christopher Diaz. I forgot exactly when this was. But I'm sure they probably already talked to him and did their best to make sure this shit didn't come out. But of course, it's going to come out. But the point I'm trying to make is you can't go condemning him and saying, like, oh, he should never fight again and all type of shit. Like, then obviously those uppercuts were accurate as fuck. Nah, 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 nah. That's enough of that. That's, a, that's enough of that. Stevenson in full control. But I guess I'm saying this, you know, young boxers, you know, they, they really need guidance, especially, you know, with the way he grew up where he's from, you know, growing up in Newark and all that very rough. You know, you can't take no shit from nobody. You can't let no shit slide. You can't let nobody like um, um, even like insinuate saying some shit that may cause to do you harm. You know, it's a tif it's a different type of breed where you grew up where he grew up at. So we don't know the context to the shit. Obviously, there's a lot of shit in that video that, you know, it's like, what the fuck? Why did that happen? But I'm looking at it from his part. You know, it looked like he was defending a friend, a friend that maybe have gone too far. You know, so I'm reading before I see the video. I'm thinking like, what fucking Stevenson video are you talking about saying he hit a chick and all type of shit? I don't see him hitting a motherfucking chick. 
Like, I don't see him like, yeah, bitch, Matt. But anyway. Let's see. There's some pictures of the dude. Dude was obviously fucked up. Um, fight. Yeah, dude was obviously fucked up. Because I think it's a picture of him, right? Will illegal involved in all this? They must have thought that a parking garage near. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sir. Among those throwing some powerful punches on Miami Beach, this bloody beach brawl landing the boxer and a buddy behind bars. The night team Sheldon Fox is live on Miami Beach with more on this. This is my first Sheldon. time seeing this. Save it for the ring, will ya? It's what you might say to those guys involved in all this. They must have thought that a parking garage near here was a sparring gym or a boxing ring, but instead this now so corny ass they've been tell arrested the story. and they've got a legal fight on their hands. You're looking at a Saturday night fight on Miami Beach. It's newly June 30th, 2018, almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. This shit is old as fuck. This shit been taken care of. Likely. Surfaced surveillance video provided by 640 The Hurricane talk show host Andy Slater from near 20th Street back in June of last year. And this fisticuffs footage features a pro, Shakur Stevenson, a 21-year-old undefeated featherweight boxer seen in the dark-colored long sleeve shirt with the white markings showing his punching prowess in a parking garage brouhaha that included two women and another man. And Stevenson's in trouble for it, along with the man in the white tank top, 32-year-old David Grayton. You can see both men getting the best of the group. Grayton appears mainly to fight with the women, one who's oh punched God. in the face by the valet window, and the other hit repeatedly and roughed up near the ATM before she comes at Grayton again. Stevenson lands a series of right and left handed blows to the man in the white hooded shirt who's pummeled while on the ground, then kicked by Grayton before Stevenson pulls his buddy out of the garage. They left, but a witness told cops that they were staying nearby at the Shore Club Hotel. And so the cops went there, found the men in the lobby and arrested the two. Police said the group of victims were visibly injured. And on he scene, wasn't told the and dude. According to the arrest report. They said the males were attempting to talk to them and make sexual innuendos towards them. The victims told the males to stop speaking to them. They'll have to talk to their defense attorneys because they're now facing felony charge. Well, you know, we got obviously we got to see the whole video. Now, once again, when I approach shit like this, especially with my history of motherfucking having to deal with the cops in the past, you know, you can't be like you you can't just be saying shit unless you know like you don't know what the fucking context of it is however you know i didn't get a chance to really really look at like from from the video being seen to us we didn't you know, listen listen i'm leaving the motherfucking shit alone i'm leaving the motherfucking shit alone you know but in regards to him it could have been a whole lot worse and now you know i hope this is a lesson because obviously he's gonna lose some money i'm hoping this is a lesson like to him to like all right little little motherfucker like, focus on boxing and stay away from that shit. You can see how easily your career could be thrown away. Like, if this shit would have got worse. Or what if, like, dude would have got seriously hurt and he couldn't get up? You see what I'm saying, my bad? You know, you can't have shit like that. You know? But either way, I'm looking forward to the motherfucking fight between Shakur Stevenson and Christopher Diaz. That shit is going to be lit. In my opinion, the undercard that has, um obviously, is Terrence, Craw well, Terrence Crawford versus Amir Khan. You know, then you're going to have um, um, Edith Tatley versus Tiafimo Lopez, Felix Verdejo versus Von Brian Vasquez, and Shakur Stevenson versus Christopher Diaz, which can be, which could be its own ESPN regular fight. But another thing with ESPN fighters is they got to stop getting into shit. You know, from the from the um, um, alleged um, um, Pulev shit, the alleged Kovalev shit, now this shit with Shakur Stevenson. You know, they got to chill, man. Too much shit going on. Especially when you're on that large platform like that. You know? I'm Teach Tree Controversy. This is Teach Tree Controversy Live with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.